Let's work on the LX problem called identifying phase transitions on a heating curve. In this problem, you're going to be given a heating curve and then you're gonna be asked two questions. You're either gonna be asked what the melting point is or the boiling point is for the substance. And then you're gonna be asked to identify of the three different states of matter, which state of matter is present after a certain amount of heat has been added. And there doesn't appear to be any other variations of this problem. So I'm gonna um, just kind of mark up this heating curve with whatever information that you might need to have regardless of what type of question you're asked. First of all, um, the melting point is the temperature that corresponds to the first plateau on the heating curve. So this right here is the melting point. Um, this question is asking for the melting point and that looks like it is 30 for, for my graph. And then the boiling point is the temperature that corresponds to the second plateau. So this plateau right here. So if I was asked about the boiling point, it looks like my boiling point is 95 degrees Celsius. The other question that you're gonna be asked is what state of matter would you find after a certain amount of heat has been added? So there you're gonna be reading um, across the heat axis. The different states of matter on, on this um, heating curve, so in the, the first slope, the first incline, this is where you have solid state. In your second incline, this is where you have the liquid state. And then your third incline, this is where you have the gas state. Uh, on your first plateau, the first plateau corresponds to melting. So this is where you have solid and liquid. And note, you can check more than one of these boxes if you do end up getting a, a position on one of these plateaus. Your second plateau, this corresponds to the boiling, so this is where you have liquid and gas. My question is asking about 22 kilojoules of heat, so I'm gonna find 22 kilojoules of heat on this axis. 20, 25, 22 is probably right here, and this corresponds to a point on the liquid gas line, so after 22 kilojoules of heat have been added, I have both liquid and gas.